I have got you stabilized on a bottle, so I really hope that you don't fall. <laughs> I'm just getting ready for the day. Uh, we're gonna be outside for most of the day, but I am still doing some makeup because we're going to a concert, uh, I think. <laughs> if we talk ourselves out of it, we might not go, which is just typical us, you know? Like, committing to things sounds great, sounds like fun, and then it's our day off and we're tired and we just wanna relax supposed to be pretty hot out today and this venue is just wide out in the open in the sun and it's like a whole weekend event it's no effects no effects which is like the old punk punk rock band and it's a bunch of other like punk rock bands playing as well like circle jerks anyway and it's my husband grew up listening to all of it i did too but i listened to it more because of like the dudes that i was hanging around all the skater boys that i had crushes on were always listening to no effects and had like no effects stickers on their cars. We saw friends that went yesterday and they said it was just really, really, really hot, just out in the open in the dry heat. But um, anyway, yeah, we're going to pick up a treadmill. I'm so excited. I found somebody and I found a free one. So the, I was willing to pay and these people just, I guess the wife wants to upgrade to a nicer one. And so they're getting rid of this one. They said it's just free because it's an older model. But we looked up online how much it cost for a new one with shipping and everything. And it would have been like around 250 bucks. So saving quite a bit of money getting this treadmill and it folds down which is great because that's what I was going for. I would take any treadmill at this point because it doesn't even matter if it folds down or not <laughs> but luckily it does. I really wanted it to fit into the gym with like it folding back in case we want to utilize, utilize that space or have people you know when we do like backyard barbecue stuff we want to be able to have that area open and not have a bunch of equipment in the way so it's nice when it folds. So that's great. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really pumped. So we're gonna go pick that up here in about an hour. Bit of the day, fanny pack, little shorts. This is a Honey Love bodysuit. Actually, it's just the tank. So it's not the bodysuit, but it fits very similarly to it. Let's go get that treadmill. Are you ready? In yet another car wash, but this time <laughs> it's in my husband's work van. He needed me to come help with the coin operator machine. But we're almost done. We're gonna go down to the waterfront and have lunch. And I'm really in the mood for like clam chowder. It just sounds so good right now. So we're gonna go down to Duke's Chowder House. They have the best homemade bread. Then we're gonna go chill for a little bit until we go to the show tonight. And then I just went and picked up my treadmill and the guy was so nice. He was actually covered in tattoos and seemed like a really cool dude. Now you stopped better. for lattes at the best coffee place in town. It's better than it was. Mm-hmm. A for effort. It's an improvement no matter what, whichever way you slice it. Now I have extra coins for when I want to come wash my car. So tasty, so full, so tired, <laughs> ready to go relax. <sighs> but now we've got a concert to go to. Check it out, <laughs> my treadmill. I can't believe they gave us this treadmill for free. Isn't it great? It's actually like pretty decent. It's like a touch screen. I'm just giving it a little wipe down because it was in their garage. My little gym. Love it. All right, so I've changed again. This time I'm wearing, it's essentially the exact same outfit, but just strapless. And instead of shorts, it's a jean skirt. We might go a little bit later, but if we do even just go later, at least this top, I won't get any, I don't want like strap lines burn. But I'm gonna douse myself in SPF and put on a little bit of liquid lip so it just stays put. How old is that song? 
I'm getting ready for the day. I have a little event happening this morning and I'm very excited about it. I have been invited to go help a friend pick out her wedding dress. It's very exciting. I've never done this before. I've never gone with a friend to do this because all of my friends who have gotten married ordered their dress online and that's what I did. So I didn't have to go do this, but I'm so excited to just go watch her like a little Barbie, which I have not gone and seen the movie yet. I think I'm going Saturday. I have a date with Jerome, we're supposed to go. So I'm hoping at the end of the week we have a really fun Barbie themed thing going on. If not, I'll think of something else, but yeah. I'm so excited to watch her like a little doll try all these dresses on. It's so exciting. <laughs> it's so exciting. So it's a Heather. If you guys remember the chicken vlog where I went and did her makeup for her wedding uh, proposal. What is it called? It's like your wedding photos, your announcement photos. Is that it? Anyway. So there's this really sweet little bridal shop here that she wanted to go to. So we have an appointment at 11. She's running a little bit late because of traffic, which is like story of my life whenever I have anything going on. So yeah, she's she's running a little late so she asked if I can go like check us in so that the appointment doesn't go lost. Not that it, I don't think that it would. Oh and I just used the, sorry I didn't film any of it but I'm just trying to get ready. I used this, the Ciate Brazilian Glow eyeshadow palette. I really like it a lot actually and this is what I had on when I went to the wedding on Saturday. So many weddings, so much wedding stuff happening right now it's just madness. I love weddings so much. I couldn't love them more. I really couldn't. Attending them is getting harder for me because my social anxiety is getting worse and worse. It's not even actually social anxiety. Like, I don't mind being awkward around people anymore without alcohol. It's just like my life now. <laughs> but I'm just so not awkward with alcohol. It's like totally liquid courage. And I realize how much of like my life I've used alcohol as a crutch to be able to socialize with people at all. And now it's like so hard. <laughs> So hard I'm so awkward I'm just like I just and then I'll like immediately go in for the weirdness I go in for the weird right away I'm like let's just cut to the chase people we don't have time to sit here and dilly dally small talk is overrated I want to go in straight for the weird so I will say anything to just excite like make the conversation more exciting but then I do it in a way that I feel like is like awkward anyway <laughs> yeah like weddings are getting a little bit like challenging I guess to uh, get the energy up to go do it because it's it, it's it takes a lot out of me I'm I'm like tired and I don't want really want to go but I love weddings so it's like I do want to go I love like going for you know to see how they decorate it and what they do with the tables and the settings and weddings are such like people's personality it really shows the type of people they are with the type of wedding that they have. And I just love to see people's personalities come out. I love it. I love love. I get so excited to see people find love and just find their partner and somebody that they want to spend their life with, you know? I know not everybody is into marriage, but I, I love it. I love marriage. I love, I mean, I really think you need to like explore life. So I, it's, it's nice to see these couples who took their time to get there you know my husband and I we dated for a while we took our time we're not perfect we're two people trying to coexist we've been together for 12 years and marriage is work relationships are work no matter what whether you decide to get married or not but to me I think it's a beautiful thing I love it I gotta go I gotta go check in for us and it's a five minute drive from here so I'm fine but um, I'm kind of pretty damn close. So let's go pick out a wedding dress. Here's the outfit. I'm wearing a little leather skirt with some cowboy boots, Marc Jacobs bag, and the Golden Girls shirt because I'm her friend. And I thought, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> it's very appropriate for joining your friend to help her pick out her wedding dress. Did you see the footage of that 
It's every girl's dream. Well, not every girl's, but a lot. Dream of going into a store that's that girly, <laughs> full of gowns covered in tool and crystals and embellishments. It was just eye candy everywhere. I've never been into a bridal store like that. I never have which is actually mind blowing, but I was talking to Heather. We went to lunch afterwards. We went to the Red Hot, which is a really awesome little like pub style place that does specialty hot dogs of so many varieties and she's vegetarian. So I knew that they would have tons of really cool options for her that she would love. So we sat, I had a draft root beer and <laughs> she had a cider and we chatted for a while and I was kind of talking about my dress and choosing my dress and how I just like pick something online and didn't really care too much about the details of my dress and my makeup and hair, which is just wild considering how much effort I put into when I just go thrifting. Like if I go thrifting, I put a whole outfit together to take a photo in it. And I was really just, it was to me, it was more about the experience, who we were with and where we were. Not to say there's, uh, there's no right or wrong way. I think if I were to do it again, I would definitely put a little bit more into the dress, plan the makeup now that I know like, how I really like my makeup and hair, still don't really care about it. <laughs> I don't think I would do any sort of updo or anything. I can't commit to that. The reason why I think is that I didn't do any of those things is because when there's so many options, I tend to simplify so that I can keep my peace and my calm in my life. I picked a dress that was just super like simple and it was still beautiful. I still love my dress. It was affordable. My makeup, I used like, I think the Too Faced Peach Palette, which is still to this day one of my favorites. And yeah, my hair, I just curled and pulled up because we were gonna get in the hot springs afterwards. <laughs> I just knew that I was gonna be putting on a bridal swimsuit and soaking in the hot springs. So it wasn't really a glam situation. But yeah, I think if I were to do it again, maybe I'd, I'd turn it up just a few more notches if we were to like renew our vows is what I mean. Not get divorced and remarry. <laughs> I mean, if we ever renewed our vows, I would wanna do something different. Uh, just a little bit though. Nothing really too crazy different because that that's what I was saying earlier about weddings is how they're such an expression of the kind of person you are. And it says a lot about like who you are as a person. It's just like how you choose your wedding to be, what you choose to wear, and all these little things that you do. And I was really impressed at how well Heather knew what she wanted. She knew exactly what she was looking for. She could draw her dress. She could design her dress herself. Whereas for me, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I really like this one and I like that one. Oh, I like that one too. And that that's where I have a hard time like dialing in exactly what I like because I like so many things. The girls that work there, like what a fun job. I'm sure it has its ups and downs, but you get to just like, help someone find their dress on their perfect day. No, oh, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, I love it. <laughs> I'm going to be trying for the first time a protein powder. Now this is going to be what I'm hoping I can have before or after working out. I still need to do research, which is better, but I would like to just do a protein smoothie of some sort in the mornings. I really can't be bothered to figure out what to eat when I first wake up, but I know I need something. So we'll try this, the whey protein powder in vanilla. So this with like, I was thinking a little bit of kefir, which I really love, it's like having a yogurt drink, maybe that together with some peanut butter, I need to figure out like a recipe basically for like a workout smoothie, but I'm, I'm trying different things. I also just, this is just a really little tiny grocery haul. I'm still doing the organic simple truth or agave in my coffee. I'm really liking that a lot. Got coffee, tomatoes, cereal, just basically snacks. Cause we do hello fresh during the week. This is also for my smoothies. So I'm gonna attempt that and get on the treadmill, but I wanted to show you something that I've been doing that I think is pretty cool. I haven't even had coffee today yet, you guys. So I have these jars and it's really been nice to put snacks in all of these jars so that when I want just a little handful of something, I just dip into the snack jar. So I got a various things to go in said snack jars. I'm really obsessed with these. This is my third time buying these in a row. The Brookside Dark Chocolate Acai Blueberry. 
balls so when you want just a little something sweet you can literally just grab like three or four of these in your hand pop them in your mouth and they satisfy the craving but now we also have some Chex Mix family size I'll probably put this in the biggest one since that looks like the biggest bag and I also really like just grabbing a handful of trail mix so this will probably go in this one I love mix that has pumpkin seeds in it because that's really good for inflammation. Y'all are jealous of my snack situation, aren't you? I got these jars at a mix of places, but I'm pretty sure it was like TJ Maxx, Home Goods. I just think it looks cool, first of all, but it also just is nice when you want like you know, something quick to grab, to snack on. It's just organized nicely and it looks good. Hi buddy. Yes, you've got a lot to say. Everything all right? I hope everything's okay. is a protein smoothie that is quite good yay okay so just wanted something quick and easy to be able to make before i hit the treadmill which i'm gonna go do right now okay well that's amazing I'm so stoked to have a freaking treadmill and try to get into some sort of healthy routine. Now the only other thing I really need to tackle is, I don't know about you, but if you work from home and you feel like you don't really talk to people as much, even though I see my husband every single day and I talk to people on the phone, it's different than like social interaction and I feel like I need to make more efforts to keep that going because after this weekend we I saw somebody every single day and although that was a little bit overkill for me I'd rather have just like a day or two of hanging out and keeping it kind of short and sweet so that I can get back to work because I've really overflowed myself with work lately which is good it's really helping me stay focused and on track but also there has to be a balance in my life right now what I'm really focusing on is balance just trying to find a healthy balance for everything for myself self-care exercise seeing friends getting out living life relaxing reading a book all these things are so important to me right now i'm i'm noticing that you forget that you have to take care of your mental health sometimes it's very easy to do it's very easy to make that a very last priority because you're so busy living your life as fast as possible but i think we all need to slow down and take care of ourselves so that's what i've been doing so yes i really think this treadmill is going to be a great addition to my journey of a better me and feeling my best and i'm doing everything that i can yeah just i don't know if you if you would need a treadmill they're free on offer up apparently <laughs> you can find them so just be diligent in finding because i it took me a week i messaged more people about their treadmill that they had for sale or for free than i can count on my hands maybe one got back so it's a lot of like constant i actually signed up for the notification that let me know when a new one hit. It notified me that one had come up and that's how I snagged this one so quickly. Maybe consider that if you're looking for some sort of exercise machine. Something else I'm thinking of getting is a rower. Uh, I really like rowing and I like the rowing machines. I feel like you get a really good full body workout with that. So maybe that'll be my next uh, saved search on OfferUp. <laughs> this is not an ad for OfferUp. That's all I've got for you today because I have got to go back to work, but I hope you guys enjoy this little video. Sorry I deleted some files that are missing, so in the beginning if it jumps into it pretty quickly it's purely just because I lost some footage. I'll do better next time and I'll see you guys on the next vlog, whatever it is. Subscribe if you're not. Thanks again. Bye.